Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello kids, how are you? So today, I'm going to tell you a story about a giant animal This animal has very big ears Also, small eyes And a long trunk Can you guess the animal? Hmm, that's correct that's an elephant. So today, I'm going to use an interactive book by Persona Edu to tell you a story about Mega Gaja. Alright, are you ready to listen to my story, yeah? Okay then, let's get started. Mega Gaja cooks for her class. Written by Andy Blanky and published by Kassian Blank. Enjoy watching! Come on class, says the teacher. It's time for us to start. Our big parade is coming soon. Each one must play their part. Some have a go at swings, others are cutting cord, some make a kite, some built a giant. They all are working hard. I'd like to make a costume. Thanks Mega to herself. She takes a needle and some thread down from the classroom shelf. She tries so hard to do it, but cannot sew at all. Her hands are just too large to hold a needle that's so small. Poor Mega Gaja starts to cry. She really is upset. And when an elephant is crying, everyone gets wet. What is the matter, Mega? Says the teacher in her ear. I cannot sew. <laughs> Mega replies, then sheds another tear. We're going to need some drinks soon. There's something to be done. Go out and fetch some tasty fruits. I think you'll find it fun. Mega wants to be a chef. She loves to cook and bake. So off, she goes to look for food. So she the drinks can make. Out in the nearby forest, fruit hangs from every tree. When Mega lifts her trunk up high, she picks it easily. Bananas, leases, mangoes are all placed in one sack. And when she's got enough of them, she takes the whole lot back. At school, Mega starts working to make a lovely drink. She puts her food upon each fruit and just goes in the sink. While Mega is preparing sweet drinks for all the class, her friends come up to chat with her while drinking from a glass. Next, Mega helps the teacher prepare the midday meals. She cleans and chops, slices and grates, and dices, cuts, and peels. And though she's so busy, when friends come to relax, Mega takes time to sit with them and give them yummy snacks. Everybody sits down to want some more to eat. This meal is wonderful, they say. Thanks, Mega, for this treat. When we were trying to listen to what we had to say, you filled our tummies with good things and helped us through today. When school was over, teacher said, Thanks, 
As Mega leaves the classroom, she sees what someone made a banner of an elephant as queen of the parade. And when the special day comes, whose food does each one eat? Mega, of course, the special chef, the cook with giant feet. Hooray! shouts everybody. We are all feeling glad, for Mega's cooking is the best that we have ever had. The end. Bye bye. Thank you so much for listening to my story. Mega Gaja cannot soup at all, but she's really good at baking and cooking. What about you? Do you like cooking, baking, or soup?